Hello, KTA Tigers, and hello, Mrs. Snedeker. Hello. Well, I hope you enjoyed the new intro to announcements that was made by one of my friends in um, Mr. McIntyre's multimedia class. They're learning how to do computer animations. So I have a few different ones that you'll see every now and then, either as an opening or a moment of inspiration. But thank you so much for that, Mr. McIntyre and your students. I loved that one. Well, today is Friday. Yay. End of the, a great week. Friday, September 17, 2021. And it's going to be a great day at KTA. We are going to start out with a shout out to Ms. Holden's uh, second grade students. They um, are practicing, as you can see there, their spalding position and their best spalding position. Ms. Holden shared that they start um, spalding first thing in the morning. And sometimes they come in a little tired and spalding is hard too. It's hard work, but they are proof that um, they do their best. They have a positive mindset. They come in ready to learn. And even though it's difficult, they still do a very, very good job. So we're proud of you, Ms. Holden students, and thank you so much for sharing that. That is awesome. Yes. We have another really fun thing coming up next Monday. We have a member of the Hamilton cast. So many of you might know that Hamilton is playing at Gamage Theater right now for a period of time. I'm gonna go, Ms. Sotelli, have you gone yet? Are you gonna go? Oh, no, I haven't seen it and I so want to. Yes, I have tickets for the um, for the end of the month, so we are we're so excited to go. Um, but we actually have a member. This is a cast that travels all across the country. These are professional um, thespians. They're professional um, actors on stage, and so we have one of the members of the cast is going to come to KTA on Monday and talk to all of our students, which is so amazing. What a great opportunity! So different grade levels are going to go at different times. Your teacher is going to know all of that and when you go. But one thing that we want from you, students, is we want between now and then for you to come up with question, a question that you could ask the uh, ask this actor, and um, you can share that question with your teacher so that when Monday comes, we're all ready. You'll get a chance to ask your question of the actor over the microphone, and they'll be able to answer. You could ask questions about acting on stage or what it's like to travel for your job or um, you could ask them questions about the Hamilton play. Um, if you want to see it, you can talk to your parents about maybe watching it. I know it's on Disney Plus, so you could watch it there even if you can't go live. But it's a really cool opportunity to hear someone who's living out their talents and has a really exciting, fun job. So prepare those questions and share them with your teachers before Monday. Yeah. So fourth and fifth grade, you are going to see that performer at 1215 in the gym. And then seventh period middle school, you're going to be seeing them at 115. So very exciting. I am excited for you all to see that. All right. A shout out from my student assistants. I have been just so proud of all of their work ladies lately. So um, Lyle made this for us. And it's a reminder that student assistant is launching a new prod. Project. They're going to start on Monday. So over the weekend, if you're at the store and you would like to help us with this, um, if you could purchase any water bottles, they are doing a water bottle drive. So here's some more information on that. The water bottle drive is going to start Monday, September 20th. We're going to collect water bottles all the way up until September 30th. So it gives us 10 days of collecting right before fall break. We need new filled water bottle packs like the picture there. Um, so it's not for the purpose of recycling. Sometimes we will collect old water bottles for recycling. This is a different kind of pro project. We want um, to be collecting new filled water bottles. Um, the water bottles are gonna be donated to the Veterans of Seasons Hospice and Palliative Care of Arizona and homeless veterans as well. So those are the people that we're um, collecting them for. And you can drop off any water bottles that you do donate to my office um, in the front office and I will collect them for all of those days, pile them up as high as I can get them. Maybe we'll show you on announcements how many we're able to collect. And then um, we will make sure that those get delivered to our veteran friends who are gonna benefit from them. So thank you all so much for helping with that project and thank you student assistants. Another shout out to my student assistants. I wanted to share some thank yous that came into student assistants. So a few days ago, they made lasagnas to be able to donate and just bring some happiness and joy and a night off of not having to worry about dinner to a few different families. We made eight different lasagnas. So three of those recipients 
um, got back to me and said, thank you so much that they were delicious. The students did such a good job. They appreciated it so much. And then you can see the empty pan down there came from one family that finished every little bit of it. So thank you, student assistants. I was so proud of that work that you did. All right, and here we have a really exciting, we've talked about our STEM room, and now Ms. Abel's going to tell us more about that room. Here she is. Hi, Tigers. This is Mrs. Abel, and I'm in the STEM lab, which is open. Yay! And how this is going to work is your teacher in elementary school has these little passes for you and they will give them out to you. And when you have your pass, then instead of playing on the playground at lunch recess, you're gonna come in here and get to play with Legos and shells and objects and magnets. And we're gonna do experiments and everything is gonna be hands-on and fun. So don't worry if you're not picked or get a pass the first time or second time. This is gonna go all year. Everyone's gonna have plenty of times and opportunities to go, okay? Everyone will get to go. What we'll do is we'll line up at the gate. You're gonna leave class just like you're going to regular lunch recess. And then I will be out there by the gate and you will line up with me and then we'll walk over here to the middle school building to room 250. When we're in here, we're gonna be scientists, okay? And so everything that scientists look at and study are specimens. And when we're a scientist, we treat our specimens with respect. So we're not just throwing them or scraping them on things and dropping them. We're looking at them. Um, you can touch them, you can look closely. We're gonna, we can trace them, we can do all kinds of things with them, but we're gonna treat them respectfully like scientists. When we're done playing and hanging out in here and it's time to go to lunch, I will give a cleanup uh, music we'll play. And then we're gonna line up in here and I will walk you to your lunch room. I, uh, let's see, that looks like it's all. There's gonna be all kinds of different things in here. We're gonna study some music, play with different uh, light up tables, flashlights, magnets. I have some coding mice. So all kinds of fun stuff. So I hope that you will enjoy and join us in the STEM lab. Thanks. Well, thank you so much for that, Ms. Abel. I am so excited to see more students enjoying that STEM lab. I'm, I'm so proud that we have that at KTA. Me too. Yes. Well, it is Friday and you know what that means. If you are getting used to our schedule for announcements, it is time for Friday surprise. So here it is. There is our big wheel. I have to give also a shout out to Miss Ormiston. It is her birthday today. So Miss Ormiston, fingers. I hope that you have extra good luck on your birthday with our wheel spin. So these are all of our staff members, everybody that keeps KTA running as well as it does all day long every day. And we are going to show our appreciation to you with a gift card from PTO. Let's see who the winner is. It is quite exciting. All right. Well, congratulations again, Miss White. And I think with that, uh, Mrs. Snedeker, it's time for our moment of inspiration. This moment of inspiration is going to come to you from our middle school multimedia students, again, also from Nova. So you will see that in a minute, followed by our Tiger Pledge and then our Pledge of Allegiance. So have a great day, KTA. Go Tigers! 